Hey, Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. I uh, thought I'd go over some pretty exciting stuff for you guys today. We've been working on uh, pretty much nonstop for the last several months, getting some, some new software added, doing some upgrades and changes to things. And so what I got set up here today is just a representative of multi-circuit mode. So if you come over here just with a camera real quick, um, obviously I don't have multi-stage equipment in the shop here, but I did go up and I set up uh, four uh, high pressure pro probes, four low pressure probes, four liquid line, four discharge line, four suction line to represent four stages of cooling on here. And then if you take a look on the on the iPad here, I've actually got all this sort of set up and you can scroll through stage one. So this is stage one readings, hit it stage two and we'll just flip readings here so you can see the subcooling uh, stage three and you'll see some very minute changes in the uh, in the readings on there and then stage, you know, obviously stage four. And so what this does is it brings all the readings off of all the probes. And if I go to the tool manager here, actually we can scroll through this. You see, we've got about 20, I think around 21, 22 probes connected to this right now. So we've got four low pressure probes, four high pressure probes, again, discharge liquid line. And then what I'm doing is a single uh, supplier and a single supply static. You can actually do up to four um, four probes for the supplier and four for the return. Those will be averaged out. But these are really, really working well. This is quite a few probes. And uh, right now, all this does work off a of field piece only because you have to have so many probes connected and field piece beacons their signal. So because they beacon, we can see all those coming in. You can see here how fast those are coming in and updated on the iPad display. Um, obviously, uh, the green represents that that is less than one second old. So they're coming in very, very quickly. I think these read about four times a second. So even with all 20 probes, they're coming in as quickly as they send signal, the iPad picks them up. Um, so it's, a, it's working very, very, very well. But this will allow you to do up to four circuits of air conditioning. And then we have, what's cool now, we have actually two different modes of this. One is a multi-circuit mode, which means multiple refrigeration circuits and the other one's a multi-stage mode. So like this Goodman piece of equipment over here, this is two stage, and so you can have it set up so you do first stage, and then you switch it to second stage, and you, you do have this one refrigeration circuit, but two stages, so it's got a two-stage compressor, where this is right now set up to show like four stages of cooling. So you'd have four compressors, four separate circuits, and um, so that's all tied in. Now at the same time, for those of you that have been waiting patiently for, I don't know, maybe four or five years now, we'll also re be releasing a multi-circuit mode for um, setting up uh, TXVs and refrigeration applications. So it'll allow you to map one pressure probe or up to four pressure probes to as many temperature probes as you want. So you could have one pressure and let's say four line temperatures to do multiple superheats on there. So That'll be a multi-superheat mode, and it'll be specifically for setting up TXEs for refrigeration applications. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for that too, but we had to get all of this in the background set up so that we could we could make all this work together, and the guys have been working on it diligently, and we're now getting a point where we're getting close to having it ready for release. So each circuit, when you look at this, by the way, I'm gonna go into the project here. Each circuit has an active stage. You can see this is active stage four, not benchmarked. If I tap on that, it's going to switch to one, two, three, and four. And if we go back to the uh, profile here and system profile, you'll see where it says cooling stage one, not benchmarked. I can switch the stage to two. Now it's uh, 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 two tons of capacity, switch it again. Then it's three tons of capacity, switch it again. And it's uh, 10 tons in this case, because we're just adding up different capacities. So I guess Robbie had to set up as one ton for stage one. Uh, two tons for stage two, so two and one is three. Then we're adding on an additional three tons to take it up to six, and then adding on an additional four tons to take it up to 10. And so you can set it up with a variable airflow. Variable airflow meaning that as you ramp up your capacity, your airflow changes, that's more what we see in um, multi-stage systems. Or you can have it set up with a constant airflow, which is how it defaults. And a constant airflow then, well, as you, lay up the number of stages, it recalculates the target temperature split and airflows and all that kind of stuff for each stage independently. So there's a lot of work that went into this. You can also have separate refrigerants for each stage. So if you're doing like a four stage piece of equipment and you're 
you know, R22 and you're converting two stages over to blue on, you could have two stages R22 and two stages blue on, and as you store those benchmarks and profiles in the cloud, all that data will store with that. So there's a lot of breadth and depth to this on the uh, multi-stage and multi-circuit modes. Um, we'll be pushing again out pretty soon for you guys to start testing, but I thought you guys might like to see what we're doing and because and, uh, it's been a little while since we posted a video. Got any questions or comments, please leave them below. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you see what's coming out. Or, and again, uh, like us on Facebook, we appreciate it. This is Jim with MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching.